I've managed to get hold of a very busy uh, first team gaffer, Dan Williams. Dan, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good, thanks, Glenn. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you, mate. Um, second game of the season. Um, first time I've really got down to, to have a chat with yourselves. Um, since the pandemic's kicked in um, and, and sort of uh, killed most of last, or some of last season, what's, what's been going on with the first team? Uh, well, we uh, obviously when I come in last, I think it was February, I think I come in, so didn't have a lot of time to uh, to have with the players. So the players that we brought in and trying to merge them at training become uh, was quite difficult. So um, we had some difficult results last year, um, which I took on my head. Um, it's down to me, um, but it was. But obviously, since we've had the layoff and we come back really early from um, for pre-season, uh, yeah, the boys have worked really hard, really hard. So they're they're super fit, um, and now it just gives me uh, leeway now to train them in uh, how I want them to play now. So working on game patterns and shape. So good. Yeah. Um, I've looked. I've looked at some of the, the the early team sheets or the early signings, and uh, there's a, there's a massive. Um, Massive intake of, of new signings. Um, so, well, tell me a little bit about some of those. Or? Yeah, well, we uh, well we lost quite a few um, through travelling. Obviously, Dylan's and Darius's. They come from Dagenham, and they was finding it hard. And a few players have uh, sort of come away and want to play Sundays, which is fine. So, we had to uh, reboost the squad um, massively, uh, especially in areas that I feel to suit my style of play. Um, and yeah, we've brought in. <laughs> We've brought in quite a lot of players, so we've got uh, Gaston, who was, who's been with me at Hutton, a uh, very good left back. Um, we've got Jordan Denya, uh, who scored last week. He plays centre mid, but we played him out of position last week. Um, new centre half, Lewis Chapman, who's just come back from university. He was at Chelsea City, very, very, very good, very young. Um, Denzel, uh, he's on loan from Grays, um, thanks to Jimmy Cooper. Um, God. There's loads. There's there's loads of yeah. new signings. Yeah. So yeah, we can just keep going and going. But and, and obviously some of those played last week. How did the game go last week? Uh, the game, yeah, we was missing four, oh, five, five new, uh, five players last week. Nav, Alfie, um, Dave Wareham, uh, Tommy Hayes, and and Andy Elk. So all them five, if uh, that was available, probably. 90% would have, would, have, would have started so we've had we had sort of like a makeshift team but we worked on it Tuesday and Thursdays with the with the team that was starting and they was unbelievable their work rate their, just everything about them they, they were brilliant last week so nice oh, good to hear. Yeah. Um, I know every game's important then um, but uh, I, I do also know that today carries a little bit more significance for, you, for yourself um, do you want to tell us a bit about that yeah no uh, obviously last year before I come over here I was at uh, Radio Town Reserves and we worked closely with the uh, first team with Paul, Paul Wiggins, who's, who's a lovely bloke, a uh, lo lovely man. And uh, yeah, so it means, yeah, this means a lot, uh, this game uh, for me. And, and the players also know that as well. So they'll be putting it in for me uh, as well today. So yeah, it does mean a lot. And uh, we, for, we, for us to push on and to see where we are, we need to be winning these games because Rayleigh Town, they're a very organised and very good outfit. So well, I think I probably know what you're going to say to this, but. Um, can I ask for a prediction today? Oh, I'll be happy with 2-0 win. 2-0 yeah. win. I'll okay. be happy with that. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I think everyone in the club will be, mate. Uh, good luck, <laughs> hope it happens for you, Dan, and um, let's have a good season. Yep, yeah, cheers, Glenn. Thank you very much.